Welcome back guys, as promised last week, we had a lot of fun in the C8 Z06 and the C7ZR1, but you're looking at it, the Italian Stallion, the 2019 Ferrari 488 Spider. that twin turbo kicking in once it gets about 5,500, 6,000 RPMs. She's just whistling. So smooth. So you got manual mode and auto mode in this thing. I usually keep it in manual mode. I like, I like popping through the gears. It's a seven speed automatic in this car. This car does have auto start and stop. Start stop feature is common in most cars now, but I'm surprised if Ferrari has it. But basically once you pull up to a red light and stop it, cuts the engine off completely and then re-engages when you let off the brake pedal and hit the gas pedal. It does have tilt, all auto tilt on the steering wheel, up and down, telescopic as well, which is a nice, nice feature. Not a lot of technology in this car compared to like the Lamborghini. There's not the big screens in the middle and the 488. One thing that this thing does lack, which a lot of people criticize, the audio is terrible in this car. You still like a little tunes, even though you're driving a a Ferrari, you still like a little bit of tunes and the stereo is not up to par in this car. This thing's got a ton, a ton of room in it. Very, very comfortable to drive. It doesn't have a center armrest, which is kind of uncomfortable, but you get over that because you're driving a Ferrari. got this front here you know the engines in the these are uh, mid-engine so engines in the back we still got quite a bit of trunk room in this thing let me pop this thing to show you got our camera bag in here got our GoPro thing but a couple cool little features in here if you look right here this is all the specs of the uh, of this particular 2019 for it's got the serial number in here it's got the model and it's got all the uh, the options that this car came with like the Apple CarPlay all the carbon fiber interior uh, the colored uh, logo mats. It's got the uh, yellow rev counter. It's got the 20 inch forged wheels. The special color, this blue color is a specialty color, which is a, uh, an upgraded option on this car. So this car is optioned out pretty well. Even though she's a track car and a supercar, you still want a little bit of comfort. Down here, you have the adjustable seats. You also have heated seats. You got numbers to be able to see how hot you want you can't even see the damn numbers but there are numbers down there so you can see how hot it is a couple features of uh that we saw on the spec sheet the blue stitching in the seat the italian stallion right here on the seat as well and then one of the most useless features we even have a little coat rack here hang your suit i guess hang your jacket i don't know you fit anything back there yeah my suit's definitely not fitting in the back i'm not fitting anything back there but it's got it let me fire this bad boy up. Fire this bad boy. You got a little engine start stop right here. Boop. Ooh, she fires right up. Pull the steering wheel down a little bit. Got a couple things down here. How do you put this car in reverse? So we have a reverse right here. You just push that button. We're in reverse. Right here, you switch from auto to manual mode. And it pops up on the screen over here between auto and manual. P.S. That's our launch button how to put it in drive. This is how you put this thing in drive. So you're in reverse or you're just sitting here, put it in drive. We're gonna pop this paddle shift right here. Now we're in drive. Now that we're in race mode, we're gonna put it in launch mode too. Launch mode, so there we're on the drag shift. We can go try to get that 3.5, zero to 60, which I think is a little faster than that. So up here we have how to lock and unlock the, uh, the doors right here. We can also set the, uh, the auto start stop to where it automatically stops the engine at the at like a red light once you get stopped. And also you got your parking sensors up here. So you can turn your parking sensors on and off as well up here. Got a couple little dome lights, nothing crazy. Glove box here. 
quite a bit of storage for your glove box in here. Here you have how to, how to roll your driver's side and passenger window down. This button here controls the uh, mid glass in the back. If you got the top up, you can actually let the little mid glass down. And then this button right here controls the, the entire hard top. So you can let the, the hard top up or down right there. I love this steering wheel. Not only does it have the nice carbon fiber and the blue stitching, but everything is controlled right here. So we have our, our turn signals left and right. We also have your horn, which is on the, actually on the steering wheel horn there. This right here is a suspension control. You can change it from uh, bumpy to stiff to, to soft right there. Here you have your modes. So we got wet mode, sport mode, race mode, CT off, and traction control off. So that's how you turn the traction control. Here's how you control your wipers as well. Everything is literally controlled from this steering wheel right here. So your hands stay put right here, control your paddle shifts, and you have thumb access wherever you need to go. We'll show you later as well once we get moving, but up here is your, uh, your tachometer indicator when you need to shift gears. Over here on the left, we have our vehicle dynamic assistance screen. We'll go through it a little bit. You have all the controls over here on the left. Over here, we'll go through a few of the things. You have your uh, oil temperature here. You have your uh, water temperature as well. PSI on your oil, battery voltage, the uh, tire pressures and tire temperatures as well. This is our tack as, or our speedometer. It's your odometer, so it'll tell you your maximum speed, average speed, travel distance, vehicle dynamic assistance here. So you control your lap time, top speeds, all kind of features through here. The far right screen over here is controlled by this dial set here. So you have your volume control and our dials here. So over here is basically like your audio and video setup. Uh, you can set up your Bluetooth here. You can set up your Apple CarPlay here. This is also where all the audio uh, stations pop up as well. So we'll kind of go through this one here. Right here we have your radio. Next screen is going to be our uh, media style. So if you have a, uh, a phone you want to plug in through USB, you can do that here. Next we have navigation. It's got built-in navigation. Next we have phones. So this is where you connect your Bluetooth is right here. And last we have our setup menu. How do you open the door? A little lever right here. You also have your uh, driver and passenger side mirror controls here. This is how you pop the front. This button here also pops the fuel tank. You use this feature when you're coming in, like going over speed bumps or coming into a driveway that's very steep. It'll lift the whole car up so it raises it a couple inches off the ground so it doesn't scrape the bottom. <laughs> Does somebody even work on something all the way in there? You can't even, <laughs> thing you can't even reach the engine. You can't see nothing in there. It's like you got to take the top off. You, it's, it's like, like you got to take, take the, the whole rear end of the car off to work on this car. If I wanted to get in one of these today, what, what would this run me? I think MSRP on this car is like 325. We got 275 on this one though. Okay. 325, 350 ish. And right that's now. new? That's new. That's but this new. one, the new car now is a new F8, so you can't even get the 488 anymore. Okay. Is this, this is discontinued? This is discontinued. If you wanted to get like, you get like an oil change or you get, you know, you get replacements done on this car, where, where do you go for that? Because obviously you're not taking it just to Jiffy Lube. You ain't taking it to Jiffy Lube, so where do you work? Jiffy Lube, you pull up with a Jiffy Lube, they're going to they're gonna look at you sideways. <laughs> you pull up in a Ferrari trying to get an oil change. Yeah, so where do you? There's a couple places in Greenville, so if you can't get it done, uh, locally, you always just take this thing back to the dealer. Right. Dealership's probably the best place to go to to get these things worked on. And the closest, uh, the closest Ferrari dealership is where? Charlotte. 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 There's a one. There's one in Charlotte. There's also one in Atlanta. So which is only an hour and a half from us either right. way. But no, uh, this ain't a this ain't a Jiffy Lube kind of car. Right.
we had a great day in this 48 spider you guys don't forget to like and subscribe and those of you that stay tuned this late